Slain Dallas police officer Lauren Ahrens attended high school here in Southern California. He graduated 30 years ago. Only on 9, KCAL 9's Jennifer Kastner is live now in Brentwood where his former classmates and his friends are paying tribute to the fallen officer. Jennifer. That's right, Elsa. The reunion is going on right now. It's happening at the hotel just behind us. And just a few minutes ago, I got a text from a former classmate who is inside. In that text, a picture that shows a white tablecloth with a plate over it and then a single red rose over that plate. Next to it, a glass of wine and then a picture of the fallen officer who, of course, could not be here tonight. I think that's most important, that we celebrate his life more than anything else because of what he did and how he gave back. Tonight, former high school classmates of fallen Dallas police officer Lauren Ahrens spoke to us by the West Side's Hotel Angelino. Inside, what would have been his 30th high school reunion was underway. Aarons was a 1986 graduate of Bishop Alamany in Mission Hills. His family still lives in Simi Valley, according to the school's website. He was always very, very helpful. Whenever I couldn't figure something out, especially in math, because we took the same math classes for two years, he was very, very helpful. Just a, a kind person, uh, good sense of humor, and um, caring. Aarons was one of the five officers murdered by gunfire. <laughs> during Thursday's ambush attack in Dallas. He was a 14-year veteran of the Dallas PD, but before that, he spent 11 years working with the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department as a law enforcement technician. His father, William Ahrens, spoke with us via Skype Friday night about his son's love for his family. The pinnacle of his life was his children. He adored his children. He was a big, strong guy, six foot five, rough and tough. He, he was fearless. But that same guy would have tea with his daughter. Old friends hope the tragedy opens the dialogue for change. Life is so precious, and we have to learn how to get along better. We have to learn how to come up with better solutions to many of the challenges we face right now. A lot of these people here tonight told us they hadn't seen Aaron's in 30 years, but they have nothing but fond, wonderful memories of him. Peter Nelson, back to you.